Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and today we're going to be looking at an application called Tiles Instagram Lock Screen from the developer Inkly. Now what this does is it puts your Instagram feed directly on your lock screen and allows you to actually interact with it, like photos, comments, and just in general look at photos in more detail. But do you want to have all of this functionality on the actual lock screen itself, or do you just want to go into the application? Well, let's take a look. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is head over to the Play Store or the link in the description down below and download the application. Once downloaded, all you have to do is log into your Instagram account and then you've got some great options. The first one being customizing your feed, so if you don't want to show certain people's pictures or you just want to have a selection of pictures that you enjoy, then again you've got the option to change that here. You can also share tiles as well, so if you want to share a photo with a friend, then you can do. There's also some theming colors, so again if you change the color of the theme here, you can see here that it changes the clock and date widget and also the unlock and again you can change it to pretty much any other color that you can see in this tray here again the black one does look really nice as it makes it very minimal my favorite though has to be the nice blue color so again i'm just going to change that back here go into the themes change the color and then you're pretty much set and you are ready to go from the lock screen you've actually got some options here you can launch the camera or you can just unlock the device launching the camera goes into your default camera application of choice and then you're ready to take a photo you've got the option here to go back or tick or cross a photo i'm not too sure what these options mean and i can't see them in the normal camera interface but once you click on the tick button it unlocks the device now that's one of the main problems with this lock screen there's not actually any security to it whatsoever you can't have a pin code or a pattern to actually unlock your device so as you can see here if i go to unlock my device now and just swipe up on the padlock down the bottom here you're going to get straight into your device now as far as I can see and I've had a look in the application, there's not actually any way to actually put a pin or just in general any security on the lock screen itself. Now as far as I can tell this is quite an early build of the app itself so hopefully they can build some security features in the future. Now in terms of the actual functionality of the lock screen itself, once you unlock your device you're granted with your Instagram feed and if you double tap on the screen you can actually then scroll through your feed. Now you can't go as far back as say a day, it's going to take you a certain time back but you can actually then click on a photo to view it in a larger format. You can like and comment on that photo and you can also view it in the Instagram app and it takes you straight to the photo. So I like this integration quite a lot and I've actually started using it a lot instead of going straight into the Instagram feed after unlocking my device. And to be honest guys that's pretty much going to do it for this application. Now it is completely free of charge and I will have it linked in the description down below. Now it's quite a fun application and I like the way that you can get into your Instagram feed without having to unlock your device, find the application, click on the application and wait for it to load. It's all there directly on your lock screen and it actually loads quite quick and it updates photos on quite a regular basis as well so you're not going to have to wait hours for a photo that someone's just posted. One thing that they definitely need to do at some point though is put some security features in here, whether it's a pin or a pattern unlock, that would be greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you guys have got any other applications that you want me to have a look at here at Copper vs Glass, again, leave it in the comment section on Google Plus or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you want more great content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.